All right, flying marmot here. Can't fly it. I'm not a marmot, but I can climb wind tower. Well, I'm only about a third of the way up. It's about an hour in. We'll see how we do. Two hours in, overlooking the Spray Lakes, which is nice, but we still got a ways to go. Time of year for nice flowers. At the top, three hours, 15 to get here. The world just kind of drops away. Yep. Ah, just out chilling for a bit. He's up pretty high. Well, it looks like it's just digging around in the grass over there. There you go. Noshing away. Yeah. He's not worried about us. No, does not care about us at all. No, oh, going home. Bird watching in southern Alberta. You have to watch out for the grassland penguins. Hi there, grassland penguins. Yo. Is there anyone else? Grassland penguins. You guys get five stars for authenticity. New bread. So, we've got ourselves an orange bread of a different sort. This time, it's made with honey and orange extract. And it's kind of interesting. It's got all of the uh, orange flavor that I find is usually missing from the orange juice bread. But none of the, you know, tart or other core orange flavors. So I think I know what I'm adding the next time I make a juice bread. Still, came out pretty good, so solid three, three and a half star bread. Well, had more fun in design than I had in the outcome. Uh, Cut didn't work so well. It's too thick. It's made of birch plywood. That was a little ambitious. And if you leave the laser at low enough power, it doesn't actually get through two layers of masking tape. So anywhere it was doubled up, my etching didn't come across. But the sizing all worked. So at least I'm happy about that. And you know, it holds together as a box. Even if it doesn't work all that well. Well, didn't expect to see something like this today. I, I like it. I'm going to give it four stars. Okay, so uh, second bread. Uh, most of it got eaten over Father's Day, and I didn't rate it because I baked it that day. So yeah, it's, uh, it's multi-grain. There's flax, there's buckwheat, and there's cornmeal. And despite that, people really liked it. So I'd call it fairly successful. Although if the amount of white flour that I know is in there, it's not as healthy as it could be. So... I'll give it four stars. Okay, so we got the acrylics. And that 90 degree gear action is actually working pretty darn smooth. Now, that's got okay lines on the uh, etching. Uh, the autofocus doesn't like transparent things at all. But still, next step, get a motor hooked up to something like this. So that's our next design challenge. I think this qualifies as an anti-chameleon. Very bright. No one's gonna mistake you for your surroundings. And there's a much more relaxed chameleon. Yeah, this one's not interested in showing off. One last bread for this pass. Decided to do a straight orange using some orange juice and that orange extract. So. The flavor balances well, but definitely will work better when it's properly spiced like I usually do it. So, don't think I'll be doing that as my next bread, but it will be coming up soon. As for this one, it's still nice, it's moist, it's got a 
very good crust. I'm going to give it well, three and a half stars. I don't know if I like the location. <laughs> Catches attention. Well, fewer shims this time. Motions. Got a little captured, so we got our swinging arm. Well, a swinging piston. A straight swinging arm on a quick return mechanism. And we've got the yoke that's definitely a little too loose, so it's got a little bit of swing to it as well. Need to work on the sizing a bit so we can get rid of the shims, and that should smooth out the motion as well. As long as I leave off the extras, without those extras, it's actually smooth enough to move by motor. I'm going to need to hold everything a bit better. If I turn up the speed too much, it pops right off since I don't have the screws with me. But hey, progress. This is how a mini marmot deals with vegetables. You find a vegetable and put it away. You find a vegetable and you put it away. And away is the middle of the table. You are so talented at putting vegetables in the middle of the table. What is your goal for these vegetables, Mini Marmot? You don't know? No? And yet if we take the plate away, she gets very sad. Oh, no. I guess she's... Oh, there it is. Do you want all the vegetables you've already put on the table, Mini Marmot? No? Only the ones on the plate will do, you say? Mini Marmot, will these vegetables do? Oh, any vegetable will do. Oh wait, it all makes sense. The mini marmot simply wished to make sure I got the vegetables. Yeah. Or, wait. <clears throat> yeah. oh, no, no, nothing makes sense right. anymore. And so the flying marmot went hungry. Okay, it is time to figure out <gasps> gates. This kiddo likes being on the fence. Ta-da! Now the mini marmot gets a nice hug. <laughs>